Hey, what's up guys? It's Kevin and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to submit your RSS feed to FeedBurner. Okay, to FeedBurner. Now, FeedBurner is a site that is owned by our service, I should say, that's owned by Google. And what they do is they allow us to submit our, our RSS feed. Okay, so I'm going to paste in uh, my URL to my blog. And if you have a WordPress blog, it's always going to be yourdomain.com. You know, http www.yourdomain.com slash feed. That's your feed. Now, if you're going to be doing a podcast, which I will be, uh, you check this off right here. I am a podcaster. You don't have to check it off, but if you will be putting um, podcasts on there, which I suggest you do, uh, and I'll be showing you how to do, uh, then awesome. So then we click on next, and that's it, okay? That's it. Our... Uh, feed burner uh feed will be created now over here what we have to do is name it right so give it a title so social media money masters uh and i'm just gonna put some keywords over here now this can always be edited after uh but you know i'm just gonna keep it like that for now i'll come back and play with it after and put in the keywords and all that now over here uh you know feeds.feedburner.com slash this is where uh you want to edit whatever it is you want your feed to be um you know see for me that is kind of long right uh social media money masters so feeds.feedburner.com slash social media money masters it's kind of a long uh, uh phrase and you know this is why having a short domain is really really important if you could find one uh because of things like this you know it's always easier to just tell people uh whether you're on a webinar or if it's a podcast and it's audio you could just tell people and it'll stick it's quick easy to remember so i'm thinking right now i'm kind of uh wondering if i should do sm masters right or if i should just do the social media money masters and uh you know what i'm gonna go with social media money masters because if anything, I'll just tell them to go to socialmediamoneymasters.com. Instead of giving them this URL, I'll tell them, go to socialmediamoneymasters.com and you'll see the RSS feed there. So if I was going to tell them to go subscribe to my feed, that's how I would do it. So I just click next and that's it. Okay, my feed burner uh, feed is now live. Uh, now we can dress it up a little bit, but that's how easy it is. So basically, we're, we're done right now. Okay, we've just done it. But we can go on to uh, give more you know we could as they say uh juice it up right so over here uh create podcast enclosures from links to any rich media file audio files video files so i'm going to put any rich media include itunes podcasting elements yes and i'm going to put it into let's see we're going to go into the business or technology mm, it's kind of like a, a, a toss-up between business and technology uh, and then category, podcasting, software, how to, tech news. Um, how about this? Let me check business, see what we got for subcategories there. Management, marketing, careers, investing. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go with technology. And I'm going to go with software, how to's, eh, tech news. So let's see additional categories. Um, so over here, I could put tech. And I could do software how-to. I could also, again, do, let me see. So now this is for iTunes, right? So business, and we'll just go with management and marketing. Okay, so I'll stop there. Okay, so podcast image location. So what we could do here is we can come over to our blog, go to the media section, Okay, media section, and here's where we want to upload our images. Okay, so let me see if they suggest a size for an image. Okay, so they don't say uh, what size, so we'll just try it out. So I'm going to go to add new media. I'm going to select file. And then I'm going to choose from this here. Let's see what size this is. Okay, so 400 by 100. I think I'm gonna go with that right there so let's go with that so I'm gonna choose that it's gonna upload it to my blog and now I can just grab this link right here so file URL see now normally when you upload these images you want to change the title okay so social media money masters 
logo okay uh, we could do alternate text so I would do that again just paste that in I'll paste it in there uh, basically that's not a good job you obviously want to do a better job than that but I'm trying to do it quick I don't want this video to be long uh, but you just want to get in the habit it's better to have three of the same thing uh, than have nothing okay so now we'll come back over here we'll put in the image and now we'll click this link preview image so the image URL you entered appears to be improperly formatted or blank. Oh, okay. That's because I copied the, um, let me see. I copied uh, that other link. Oh, I got to come back over here. So now I just got to find that image. Edit. Okay. And here we'll grab this link right there. Bring it back. And let's paste that in there. Okay, so preview image. Okay, so here we could see the preview. Looks good. So we'll close the window. Podcast type title. I'm going to keep all this empty for now. Okay, so copyright message. I'm just going to put uh, social media money masters. And I'm going to put over here 2011. Podcast author, Kevin Silva. All right. Podcast subtitle. So again, we're going to go with social media money masters and I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to swipe this, the bio I used for who is Kevin Silva since I talk about social media money masters and again, trying to do this really quickly uh, so you guys don't have to sit here watching me do this, but basically I'm just going to come over here and show... Okay, so I'm gonna put social media money masters will show you instead of show others, show you how to build a money making business online from home using the power of social media, all without the conventional old school ways of having to become an expert at something and and create information products just to make some money online. Alright, so just there are ways to profit from home right now, and that's exactly what you'll learn here at Kevin Silva's uh, Social Media Money Masters training blog. Take that out. Learn from Kevin De Silva's Social Media Money Masters podcast. All right, so over here we'll put in some keywords: social media, Facebook, right, LinkedIn, uh, YouTube, WordPress. And I'm just going to put the big boys for now since I will be coming back in Tumblr. Okay, podcast author email address. So I'm going to put in Kevin at socialmediamoneymasters.com. Include media RSS information and add podcast to Yahoo search. Yep. Uh, does it contain explicit content? No. So now we can click next. Okay, so Fiendberta stats automatically track circulation, how many people are subscribed, readership, what feed readers people are using, uncommon uses. So here, we if we want to track, uh, uh, we want to track click-throughs, how often people click items back to your site, we can check this off and say yes, I want you to track that. Item enclosure downloads, podcast downloads. So do you want to track that? Uh, here, I want more. Have FeedBurner stats also track individual item views, recent indication, reach, number of people. So we'll say yes, track it all. Okay, and we'll go to next. And that's it. We've successfully updated the feed. And now, uh, you know, you could see all your stuff. So you can come over here and if we go to analyze, that's where we'll see uh, how many subscribers we have. How many items are in use, right? So we could see all those stats that we just set up. Over here, optimize. Here's ways that we can optimize our feed. So you can go through this and look for ways to optimize your feed. Publicize. Here, uh, they tell you ways uh, that you can publicize, right? So kind of like you can get a like box. You know, you can get a like box for um, Facebook, for your fan page. That's what, what they're talking about. So here, display rotating headlines. So here's one of the things that we can do. So we can have the headlines from our feed. See this right here with the RSS and then the sample headline? Uh, well, we can embed this. We can get this code and go put it as a 468 by 60 ad 
or we can choose what side we size we want. Now, you would put this most likely on uh, a theme, okay? Most WordPress themes have spaces for you to put ads. So you could use this uh, in place of one of those ads and you can customize the size of everything, okay? Uh, email subscriptions, okay? Offer feed updates via email. So here we can activate this service and once we activate it, we'll, uh, we'll be able to allow people to then uh, subscribe to our feed through email. So subscription form code. Now, um, so here you could see uh, different widgets. Now what I'm gonna do is show you how you could do this uh, and you're gonna be able to use the same exact formula for putting it on your blog as with anything, okay? Which is we're gonna go over to our blog and you're gonna go to appearance, then you're gonna go to widgets, okay, widgets. When you go over to the widgets, you're gonna see this right here. See the text, okay, right here, text. What we do is we can drag this over. So I'm gonna drag this into, let's see. I'm gonna put it in one of my footers, okay? So I'm gonna put it, so I'm gonna take out the calendar, all right? And I'm gonna put this text right there just to show you how this works. So we're gonna open that up. And basically it's just a, a blank, uh, you know, it's a blank form that we could just put whatever we want in and we could put HTML. So I could paste this in there, okay? Since it's HTML, save. And now I could put over here, subscribe to our feed using email. Now I'm gonna end up deleting this, but so I'm gonna click on save, come over to my blog, Refresh the page, okay? And I'm gonna scroll down and see right here, there's uh, the form where people can just put in their email address and subscribe, okay? Now, I actually won't have to do it because they already have it set up right here. So my theme comes with that. So all I have to do is uh, put in my username. So I'm gonna delete this box. And if you ever wanna delete one of these, you just open it up, okay? So you just click on the down arrow over here on the left corner, you'll see delete. We'll just click on delete and it's gone, okay? Now what I will have to do, however, is come back over here, go to my smart blog theme options, which is the theme I'm using. And I'm gonna go to, uh, let's see, navigation, layout state, I believe it's one of these. I just installed this theme, so I don't know where it is off the top of my head, but let me see where it is in here somewhere actually I think it's if I'm not mistaken um, general settings nope navigation layout settings let me see ad management no <laughs> SEO it's gonna be the last one oh wait is it this one um, integration Okay, I can't find it right now, but I know it's somewhere over here. Um, I'm just not seeing it right now. But basically, what I'm going to do is just put in my username or the feed burner. Uh, actually, okay, I, I just remembered. It's in the widget section. Okay, so what I got to do is come over here to the social. Okay, so a lot of these themes, it's going to be over here on the social. Now, uh, remember what my feed burner ID was? Remember, I kept it at social media money masters. So I'm just gonna put Social Media Money Masters, click on Save, and now my theme will be updated to where if I refresh this page, you can see right now that if I hover over this, in the left corner down there, I don't know if you can see it, it says Theme Junkie, but if I refresh the page, now Social Media Money Masters. Okay, down in the left corner, if I hover, it shows what URL it's going to, and here people can uh, now subscribe using their email. All right, so that's how you do it, guys. That's how you create a feed burner. It's a really smart thing to do. Um, and we do it because, you know, we want to be able to see how many people are subscribing. We can get all sorts of cool uh, social plugins that we can go and, uh, you know, embed onto our blog. Uh, you know, we can add these things all over the place. It gives us so much stuff, uh, so many tools to use. And getting RSS uh, uh, subscribers is huge. Okay, it's really huge. We want to get it. Uh, so do it up. All right, guys, that's it for this video. See you on the next one.